Hi, and welcome to another interview with the authors of Pediatric Allergy and Immunology Journal. I'm Pasquale Converiati. I'm a pediatric specialist and the secretary of the IACI Union Member Board. Today, it is my pleasure to interview one of the author of one of the latest uh, article in Pi Journal, Dr. Lindsay Douglas, professor at the Department of Pediatrics at Crevice Children's Hospital at Mount Sinai in New York. Welcome, doctor. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So uh, we are going to discuss about uh, her latest uh, article titled Elective Cesarean Section and Bronchiolitis Hospitalization, a Retrospective Core Study. First question, what is the rationale of this study and what are the main outcomes? So this is a large database study of a database in Israel. And what we found was that infants that are born via elective cesarean section had an increased odds of hospitalization for bronchiolitis in their first two years of life. Second question, what uh, does this study add to uh, current knowledge on elective cesarean section and risk of bronchiolitis in children? So there are some studies on electric cesarean section and risk or odds of bronchiolitis in children. What we found was that there was an effect modifier of the timing of the infant's birth. So children that were born in the spring and summer months had increased odds of 35 and 37% respectively of having a hospitalization for bronchiolitis in their first two years of life. That's very interesting. Final question. How do you think this data, these results could impact the current practice the current practice of elective cesarean section? Well, because there is an increased odds of bronchiolitis in this association we found with elective cesarean section, we encourage um, obstetricians to discuss this with their patients when deciding whether they will um, go forward with an elective cesarean section. The rates of elective cesarean section are going up internationally, and this might be a a piece of information that will help inform that decision. Thank you so much. That was very interesting. And thank you all for watching. If you want to read the full article, please click on the link below and stay tuned for future interviews with the authors of Pi Journal. Goodbye.